Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow for MBN and News Video Web and also for the Travel Suite. Today we're here with Joe Tong and Tony Chu who are going to be at the Cannes Film Festival very shortly coming up in a few weeks. And Joe and Tony, yeah. yes, is this your first film at the festival? Absolutely, it is my first uh, short film at the film festival. Really excited. Ooh, how long? And this is my first time as a director slash producer. Uh, I had a film last year as a DP. And funny enough, we'll be there as well, but at a different festival going on at the same time. Oh, which festival? Oh. Uh, the Saint Tropez? Uh, no, it, it was, I think it was called the Disabilities Festival. I, I don't know. Oh, wow. My friend who went last year will be revisiting it this year with his wife as well. So it's exciting to have friends there. It's Tony out for his birthday uh, two birthdays ago, and we, we had. We had dinner, and we were chatting, and next thing you know, I was uh, talking about these uh, situations that, uh, that I was in, and uh, Tony was uh, fascinated about it, and we, we said, well, let's, Tony said, let's shoot that, and I thought, really? And he said, yeah, why not? And I always wanted to shoot something, and um, that's how it all started. It's kind of interesting, this, this idea of having nothing to hide behind. And having a conver yeah. and having a conversation. I mean, sitting in a bathtub, you literally have nothing to hide behind unless you're hiding behind the bubbles. Um, did it change? Did you find yourself when you're going through it filming that you felt different than you expected? Uh, well, I I was the actor in it, and um, the story is uh, around a lot of the experiences that I've had in my life. So. No, actually, I was really quite comfortable with uh, with a lot of the scenes that we had. Um, Tony was really intrigued. Tony, you have anything to say about this? Well, I, I think if anything, it was, it was, it was some of the, I think one of the experiences that Joe had had, it was so interesting because he had told me, like, a lot of it about our conversation talked about a particular moment, I think he was with somebody and uh, been talking and talking for a couple of hours. I thought this is the most interesting visually in my mind. Of course, I was thinking something visual, uh, a story that I can maybe put on video or get in class. And I think this is so interesting. It's not about the actual act, but it's also about a connection or the two people going through. I thought this will make an interesting little short film. And at the time, Joe was staying at this really amazing uh, house. Architecture in the house was very, I don't know, what would you say, Joe, very modern? I, I, would, I wouldn't even say modern. It's a very, very hard playing house, I guess. How would you describe it, Joe? I thought that. Uh, uh, the people would describe the house as actually uh, a little bit cold, but uh, interesting. Just, uh, gosh, it's, it's hard to describe. Actually, people would describe it as uh, cold. But um, the, yeah, yeah the, the film is, is, is really about, you know, trying to just make the connection. People are always talking to each other, but not really talking to each other. Mm -hmm. And um, and speaking about that naked truth, I mean, just because we're um, naked mm -hmm. doesn't mean we're still being honest with each other. Oh, now that's an interesting concept. Yeah. Mm. Now, I'm... Uh, and then, uh, sorry, ben. Oh no, I'm I'm just curious with the two of you having this be your own film versus working on or starring in another film. How do you feel that it has helped you as a performer? Um, you know what? For me, it's it's been really fulfilling because you're able to really express intimately what you want to say and how you want to say it because on any other project you have to respect uh, the writer and the director and the producer but when you're you know you have a part of the writing and you're so close to the director like I am with Tony um, we were able to really capture certain essences that uh, you know that we had talked about and that he kind of envisioned in that dinner uh, that I had taken him to that I was just Telling you about my experience and not really expecting to have a short, but um, have something come out of it and finally have something down is uh, wonderful. And now to be able to go to college.
on because of it. It's, it hasn't really hit me yet, but um, if it will, when I'm from there. <laughs> I know, you're still pinching yourself. It's kind of surreal, isn't it? It is. It really is. And uh, Tony is like, no, you know, this is uh, your first uh, short film that you produced on the con is uh, pretty amazing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Congratulations. Uh-huh. Oh. Thank you. We're both so excited because, you know, I think a part of it is I've never been to never been France, and I think Joe, we both have never been to Europe, so it, this is, it, it's, a, it's a great chance. That's just, wow, fulfilling multiple, I guess, bucket lists, if you will, to go to a film festival that we think about going at the same time and going to France of all places. <laughs> In high school, I took French, and I always wanted to go to France, and now, like all these years later, I'm going not just on vacation, but for a film festival. It's, it's really, it really is surreal. Oh, this is... This I is... took high school French, too, and I get to practice my high school French. Parlez-vous Francais? <laughs> With this being at the Cannes Film Festival and it being a short, do you hope that it will be a, a feature film? making this short film just for the experience and um, to showcase a little bit of acting and, and just just to make a short film because as, as an artist we're always procrastinators we always put things off and we're busy living our lives and uh, to get something down is, is really exciting the idea of uh, having a feature out of this is uh, uh, a possibility but um, more so I'm I'm like on the creative process and in the moment I'll let the we guide me and decide what happens there. Well, congratulations. I, 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 I definitely wouldn't just have a possibility of possibly having a feature in the future, but I think this, this experience shooting with Joe, a wonderful cast and crew, it's been really uh, an amazing time. Because we also have lots of other uh, ideas that we're developing uh, to I think the main thing to go to con this show would be just to experience what it's all about. Because the self short film wonder is, is a massive, amazing market. Meets uh, all the various vendors and all other filmmakers. I think it's, it's a big worldwide, no less. And to, to, to kind of go through all that would be definitely an experience that will not maybe or will modify our view of what, what other future projects we're going to make. I, I will say this, the last couple of weeks, because uh, after we got accepted, I will say that getting into con has really, um, you know, got my producer's hat going and thinking more in the business aspect of things, because con is, is a little bit different market than the other film festivals because of the, um, the market there. Yeah, it's an entirely different market. Well, congratulations to the two of you. We look forward to seeing you there. And if people want to find out more information about the two of you as well as your film, where is the best place to reach you on the Internet and social media? The uh, best place would just be at www.nakedtruthproductions.com. And both uh, my information and Antoine's information is there for contact. And uh, the latest uh, elements will be there as well. Perfect. Well, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much, John. Thank you so much.